A significant breakthrough has shed light on the treatment of spinal cord injuries, which were previously considered untreatable. Unlike bones and skin, the spinal cord and nerves have limited regenerative ability, so when completely damaged, they rarely regain function and repair. However, there is now new hope for spinal cord regeneration, with the situation evolving day by day. Six years ago, patient C fell while snowboarding, and five years ago, had three falls while bouldering, leading to a diagnosis of cervical spondylosis and undergoing bolt fixation surgery. Despite surgery, symptoms didn't improve, so patients sought consultation and received stem cell therapy in Julie this year. While participating in the half pipe, I had a mishap and suffered two concussions. At that moment, I didn't feel any sensation or pain in my body. In 2018, I was also involved in bouldering, and in November, I experienced two falls and one in December. At that particular time, I was in a good condition, but in the year 2019, in January and February, I was snowboarding at that time, and then in March, I started to feel a bit weak in my legs, and walking became a bit strange. After that, I underwent surgery, but unfortunately, another thing not so good happened, which is the loss of grip strength. I had severe numbness and dizziness from the soles of my feet. When I tried to hold chopsticks to eat, they wouldn't move. I tried to move them back like this. Around six years ago at this time, they experienced a fall while snowboarding, and approximately five years ago, they had another fall while bouldering. During those times, the spine, which initially had no symptoms, was injured due to the protrusion of the spine making contact when the head moved. It is considered that the spine suffered damage. When this person came, they had a little issue with their leg. Their left leg was weak, causing a slight body sway when walking, slow speed, and difficulty going upstairs without a handrail. They wanted some help with that, so they received a hip injection for the first time, including in Kansai.